everyone, happy Monday. My name is Marley, for those of you who are new here, and I am on a journey to lose 100 pounds. Apologies for the washing that's dried in the back. I mean, like, my office doubles as the spare room, laundry room, storage, you know. You know all that jazz, don't you? But, uh, yes, today we are gonna do sort of a day in the life because I didn't actually get in my week five weigh-in video up yesterday as I usually post them on a Sunday and that is just because I was not happy with the footage at all. I was just in such a bad mood and it was just such a whiny video and I was like this is not good content. Basically quick overview last week I think I did amazing. I incorporated workouts, did got my steps in, um tracked everything, stayed in a deficit every single day, and by some annoying factor, I ended up putting on 0.2 pounds, which now brings me to 233.6 pounds. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of last week. Um, obviously I weighed in last Friday, and after I saw that I had gained after having a really great week, even if it was something as tiny as 0.2 pounds, you guys, it just threw me off the rails, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I just didn't track. I didn't really work out. I did go for a nice walk on Sunday morning, but yeah, I didn't track what I was eating. Kind of had a little bit of a binge, um, but I didn't eat out. Like, I didn't get a takeaway. I didn't go out and eat. So I just ate what I had in my house, so at least there's that. But yeah, I definitely went over my calories, whether that was maintenance or even over. I wouldn't be surprised, so uh, now I'm over it. I'm like, that was so silly to just get so upset over that, you know, I am not going to give up now, we're back on it today, we're going to track everything, we're going to get our body moving, and I thought I would just share the day with you guys, um, or bring you guys along with me today, so yeah, it is Monday morning, um, I have just made myself a coffee, and I always start my morning off with one of these bars. I know some people are probably like, that's not the best thing, but you know what, I like something sweet in the morning and we are gonna do what makes me happy. Um, <laughs> and then of course, my big waddle, my big waddle, my big bottle of water. I'm gonna get through this for the day. And yeah, um, working from home today, so I have got quite a busy day but I plan on going for a walk at lunch, even though it's like kind of snowing, but we're still gonna go. And yeah, just gonna bring you guys along with me. I hope you guys are doing well. I am sorry I have chewed your ear off this morning, but you know what? I felt like I just owed it to you guys to explain why I didn't post my week five weigh in. Um, and I'm all here for sharing the ups and downs of my journey, like, don't get me wrong, I want to share everything, but, like, that footage was honestly, like, me just being a brat and complaining, and I'm like, girl, no one needs to see this. Um, I need to get a little bit of work done, check my emails, I've got a team call in a minute, um, and then I guess I'll just check in with you guys later when I have, like, my, <laughs> what I call breakfast number two. This is breakfast number one, and then I'm gonna have a proper breakfast number two, so. Does anybody else have their Weetabix like this? Like, <laughs> my partner thinks this is the grossest thing, because I don't like a lot of milk in mine, but I have two Weetabix with 150 ml of almond milk and four grams of sugar, and this is just how I like it. Like, I just like it almost like a paste. <laughs> so this is what I'm having for breakfast um, and I'm just going to keep working because I have quite a few deadlines today that I need to make sure I finish by close of play. The weather forecasted really heavy snow all day and it's like, girl, the sun is shining. Where is this heavy so, snow? It is a couple hours later. It is 12.28 and I think I'm going to get up now to go and just take my lunch break. I'm gonna go on a bit of a walk just to get a bit of air, although it is kind of snowy now, but not much. So, you know, I'll be fine. 
Well, I did not realize. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just getting up, up and personal today. But yes, um, I need to have a break from my screen. I am just wearing this. I always wear gym clothes. Um, Fabletics, Fabletics, Danelm. <laughs> I am not going to wear my slippers. I am going to change into my trainers um, and probably wear a coat because it looks like it's freezing outside. Let's have a look. Um, no, it's actually not really snowing. Well, I don't think you can see it on camera. It's like slightly snowing, but we're going to go on a walk anyway because we're going to do it. I said I was going to do walks at my lunch break. I need to get the 10,000 steps in, so let's do it. There are people in other parts of the world that are a lot colder and they're going out for their walks. So that doesn't mean that I can't, even though I am a California gal, living in England, not used to the cold, definitely not used to the snow, but you know what? We're going to do it because... We're trying to lose 100 pounds here. So, you know, got to make sacrifices. Okay, seriously, I need to get going because I'm just wasting time. Okay, I was wrong. It's starting to snow. And it's fucking cold. But we're still going to do it. We're still going to do our walk. Oh. just got back from my little lunchtime walk looking like a drowned rat it definitely started snowing hard when I was on my walk it was hailing for a bit um and then just like big snow I don't know like snowflakes flurries I don't know what they're called but yeah I'm definitely soaked and does your guys' body do that really weird thing where like when you're outside walking in the cold but then you're like sweating and you're all clammy and gross, like, yeah, that's how I feel right now. But anyway, I thought I would quickly share with you guys my stats on my walk. So I walked a total of 3.04 miles um, over an hour and one minute, and I burned 486 calories and did a total of 7,061 steps. So I don't think, I don't know if that's focusing. Is that gonna focus? I don't think I did too, too bad. Um, it was a nice little brisk walk. So yeah, I'm just gonna make myself some lunch now. I think I'm gonna have turkey bacon and egg sandwich on a thin with a bag of cheese curls and probably a pear. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that now because I am freaking hungry. So it is now nearly five o'clock and I have finished work. I finished work around like 4.15 today. Um, and I've just kind of been sat downstairs. Um, I was going to do another workout, like a quick 30 minute workout, but I just don't have the energy today. After my walk, I got like really, really cold. Like I've got my dressing gown on, I've got the central heating on, and then we've got another heater in the living room and I've got that on and I don't know, I just can't seem to warm up. And I think it's because on my walk, my hair got like really wet. That's why it's all like wavy now. And then um, a bit of snow like fell down the back of my shirt so it was like my back was really wet and my hair was wet so I think I caught a little bit of a chill and I'm really bloated as well and it just does not feel nice so you know I, I had an hour long walk today I am happy with that I don't think I need to do another workout today if I'm not feeling it I don't know maybe later I will but for the time being I'm just gonna just chill out um maybe watch a bit of tv or read i did get a fabletics um parcel in the mail 
so I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. Well, not picked up, what I ordered. <laughs> um, so first thing is a sports bra because I feel like I don't actually have a lot of sports bras. Um, and this is just the all day, every day adjustable bra. Um, it is just in this like beige color. Um, that's the back. It's like crisscross in the back and, um, ooh, it has a clasp as well. I didn't know that, but yeah, this is quite cute. Um, I got it in a size, um, large. I said that really weird, large? Uh, yeah, I got this in a large, and I have a few Fabletics bras, and I actually love all of them, so looking forward to trying that out. And then, of course, I just got another pair of leggings. I love Fabletics. Like, I'm literally wearing all Fabletics today. And these are just the Oasis High Waisted Pocket Leggings in this really gorgeous, like, purpley maroon color. Oh my gosh, I love these ones. They're so soft. Um, I know their most popular ones are, like, the Power Hold, but I'm not a fan of the Power Hold. Like, I just think they're way too tight and they're, like, kind of uncomfortable, but these ones are just so soft and, oh, it's, like, really buttery feeling. They have the pockets on the side and they are just, this color is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got this in a size large. Is it a large? Why did I get a large? Oh yes, I got it in a large. Um, large doesn't quite fit me yet. I am an extra large um, for the time being, but I thought I would get a large just because um, it's like a goal for me to fit into. I have quite a few extra large leggings, so yeah, I thought it would just be a nice little treat when I do fit into it, which hopefully won't be too long. I mean, I could fit into a large now, um, because they're leggings and they are quite stretchy, um, but comfortably I'm an extra large. My battery is flashing and I definitely want to show you guys the dinner I make tonight, so... I'm gonna go ahead and put you on charge, read a bit, chill out, and then I will be back when it's time to make dinner. Guys, it is now dinner time, and tonight we are having like a roasted red pepper creamy pasta, chicken pasta. I've never made this before, um, but it just, I've been like craving pasta. Sorry, you guys are really close. Um, I've been craving pasta and the way I kind of come up with recipes is I basically just take inspiration from other people. I work on two different recipe sites, like as my main job, so I'm constantly looking at recipes and just take what I think looks good and then just adapt it to fit my needs. So, you know, what ingredients I have on hand, what I like, how to make it calorie friendly for me. Um, so yeah, here's to hoping this turns out well because like I said, I've never made it before. So I will quickly just show you what I am doing. So first off, I just have this Aldi Fusely pasta cooking in here. Um, the dish I'm making uh, serves three, but this is just two servings of pasta because pasta is really high in calories. Um, but it's gonna be bulked out with loads of other stuff. So I thought two servings should be fine. For the sauce, I'm basically taking two big red bell peppers, an onion, some garlic, paprika, um, mixed herbs, a tin of tomatoes, and 30 grams of this garlic and herb soft cheese. I'm gonna fry it all up and then blitz it with a blender and hopefully that makes a nice sauce. Um, and then for like the other part of it, I'm gonna fry up some diced chicken. This is 400 grams. And then I have some chestnut mushrooms here. I have fried the red peppers, the onions, and added in the tin of tomatoes, seasoned it with salt, pepper, mixed herbs, and paprika, and I'm about to blitz this in the blender. Um, 
My pasta is now cooked. It came out to 400 and, uh, 406 grams of cooked pasta, so just over two servings. Um, and then I did save about half a cup of the pasta water, should I need it, um, in case it comes out a little dry. So just a little tip, if you're ever making your own like pasta and sauces and stuff, always keep back some pasta water, because you never know if you're gonna need it or not. Ooh, I just hit my 10,000 steps. So here it is guys, here is the finished product. I just went ahead and added the pasta, added 30 grams of the garlic and herb cream cheese, and then just add a little bit more salt, pepper, crushed chilies, and paprika, just depending on my taste buds. I didn't actually use the pasta water because I got enough sauce um, out of the red pepper um, and onion sauce that I made. and. Like I said, this makes three portions. Um, you probably could get four portions out of it, but I'm gonna do three, because obviously it's my dinner, so I wanna make sure it fills me up. And one third of this, so one serving, is 478 calories and 45.1 grams of protein, so this is definitely going to fill me up. Gonna do one serving for me tonight, one serving for my partner tonight, and then I'm gonna freeze one serving and probably have that at the weekend for either a lunch or dinner, so. Yep, I am just gonna go ahead and tuck into this and I will also add all the ingredients on the screen in case you guys are interested in making this yourself. I have just finished dinner and cleaning the kitchen. I always have to like clean the kitchen, like do the dishes and, and stuff right after I have dinner. I'm just really weird like that because then it's just out of the way. So yep, that's done now and it is about 7.57 in the evening and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm not really gonna do anything for the rest of the day. Probably gonna get a shower, have a green tea, and read a little bit more of my book that I started today. I'm only like two chapters in, but I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, and I'll probably have a green tea and one of those like 99 calorie um, mini Twix bars because I have one every single night. And probably then head to bed because I mean, we're in lockdown, what else is there to do? <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, just so I know to make more of these kind of day in the life videos, if you did enjoy it. Um, and if you aren't already and want to follow me on this crazy journey of losing 100 pounds, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I would love to have you here on my journey with me, and not just me, so many of you are on this journey with me, so if you are on a weight loss journey, then definitely let me know how your week has gone. I love chatting to you guys, I love checking in with you guys, because I feel like it just keeps me motivated and accountable, because it's like... You know, we're, we're, we're weight loss buddies, you know, we gotta, we gotta motivate each other. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.